acid rain. So when we burn fossil fuels or wood, stuff like that, there are these emissions or exhausts or smoke. And in that, there is nitrogen oxide. And nitrogen oxide is NO. And then because it's in the air, now there's oxygen in the air. So now you combine the oxygen with the nitrogen. And now, I mean, nitrogen oxide, and now there's nitrogen dioxide. So it's that whole NO2 thing going on. And then we have um, it in the air, and now it's absorbed by the water. And then the water combines with it to, to form this new formula, and it's uh, the result is nitric acid, and as you can see, acid is in the name. And basically through um, the water cycle, like evaporation, so the water evaporates and it's in the clouds, and when it falls down, precipitation, now there's acid in the rain, and now it's acidic, and it can damage plants and animals and things because it is corrosive, meaning it just burns away at things. And in, in extreme cases, acid rain has been shown to cause damage to even metals like cars and TVs. So, yeah, so in acid rain, there's nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Okay. Algal bloom is when the water, a water body, receives too many, too much nutrients, um, which would be nitrogen overload, and there would be too many nutrients in the water, thus creating, um, thus making a lot of algae reproduce and grow really fast, and it would cover a vast amount of area in the water, and the sun can't penetrate through it and it reduces the oxygen in the water and the organisms would die because of the lack of oxygen. Yeah. Which would also be called hypoxia. Hypoxia is the lack of oxygen in any body, not even a water body or an ecosystem. It can also be in the human body. And also, why there's no oxygen is because there's no photosynthesis occurring because the sun an essential part of photosynthesis cannot penetrate the plants below the algae. So now everything is just dying, and now the organisms are all dead because of no oxygen. And I talked about hypoxia, which is lack of oxygen, and now there's apoxia, and that is completely devoid of oxygen. So they're not dying, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Okay. Eutrophication is more general, while algal bloom is more specific. Eutrophication is basically algal bloom, but it's a bit different. Um, that's when the water bodies receive too many nutrients, causes rapid growth of plants, and the plants underneath all of the, um, what do you call it? The water? Okay, uh, the plants in the water yeah. would be suffocated due to a lack of oxygen. Um, the plants underneath all of the algae and weed would, wouldn't go under photosynthesis and wouldn't create oxygen for the rest of the organisms in the ecosystem. Okay, so <laughs> some causes of eutrophication. For example, fertilizers and fields. So I told you about fertilizers. There's artificial and organic. Well, they both contain nitrogen, so they're in the fields, and then there's runoff, which is basically water on the soil, but then it runs off to somewhere else, usually a body of water. And now the nitrogen in that runoff is now in this body of water, and now there's this overload of nitrogen, and it's causing all these weeds, algae, plants to grow on the surface of the water, choking everything underneath. And then there's uh, other causes, you know, mistakes like soil erosion and then there's deposition of nitrogen from the atmosphere like I spoke about before there's acid rain 
and then basically the rain has nitric acid and then it lands in the water, the body of water, and now there's an overload of nitrogen again. So that's what causes eutrophication. There are many causes, but they all end up with the same result. So also, I'm going to talk about too much nitrogen in the soil, not just water, but in the soil too. So when you have too much, you supersaturate the soil, and that may sound cool, but it's not, because now the soil is causing a reverse effect, because before you were trying to fertilize the soil so it becomes more fertile, meaning it grows plants quickly, and there's an abundance, and it's all great, but now it's becoming acidic because there's way too much nitrogen in there, and now it's burning away the plants and animals, everything's just being killed by this nitrogen overload. And that is the end of our presentation.